this. I know, look at this. <laughs> it's not just raining Every a little bit. It's raining a lot. It's raining a lot. Chef what? Rick Roman is back Hello. with us. Good to see you, buddy. Good to see you, David. Nice to have you back. You have brought I, to us yep. the quintessential grill cleaning brush. It is. But it has no bristles. It has no bristles. You know what? I was so excited to show you this, Dave, because now, unlike ordinary grill brushes that you wind up throwing out because they rust, they get corroded, this is a bristleless 18-8 stainless steel. So no bristles that can prick my fingers. It does not Wait, rust. Let me feel this. Yeah. Oh my God! Stainless steel. So it's, what, it's abrasive, but it's not sharp. Exactly, and it's not. It, guess what? Dishwasher safe. This will not rust. You can leave it outside. And I'm just going to do something here. Watch this. I'm going to show you how durable. This is an incredibly durable. So no longer. Okay, he did not tell me he was going to do that. No, <laughs> no longer are we throwing out our grill brush. Now this my is why. My heart is pumping. Uh, I, uh, did, at abnormal speed now. I yes. want to show you, right. this is why we created this brush, because take a look at these. These two bristle brushes, okay, are less than a month old. Look at how they're rusting inside. You look at the rain behind me, when's the last time you just left your grill open and you left the brush out, and it's rusted? Who would want to clean their grill with these and then have the worry of this, David? Check this out. These little bristles, okay? What if that went into your food? And you know how dangerous that you know can be? what that is? That's metal. That's metal, okay? As they corrode, the bristles start to come up. So here's what I love wow. about this, okay? okay? Super okay. large handle, which has this texture. You go onto the Stay grill. Stay cool handle, right? Stay cool handle. This yep. is heat safe. I have the grill on hot We're going to bring our camera in so you can see this from the side. And I can get leverage because of this handle. Now I'm going to go look at all this stuff that's on this grill. And now I'm just going to go right like this. Now here's what you're going to see. I'm cleaning the top of the grates here. Now what I want to do is when I want to get on these sides of the grates, I simply angle it just like that, David, and it's going to get on the sides. Now if you have some really stubborn things, notice the tip here. It has these little hooks here that are going to fit different size grates. I just simply turn it and shape it, and it goes right to the shape of the actual grill grate, David, and that gets all that off there. And again, what I love about this is because I can get in the side there, this right here can go right in the dishwasher when I'm done. Again, I want to show you this. I don't know about you. I don't want to clean my grill with something that's already and dirty. And have that metal go in my food. Metal, and then it, no thanks. When's the last time you clean something and then use something dirty to clean it again? Now every time you use this, it's clean. Yeah, I always say, and for those of you out there who say, yeah. "Well, I just let the heat burn this stuff off the grill." Would you cook eggs in a filthy, dirty skillet? No, you wouldn't. No, no. Why are you going to put expensive beef on a dirty, filthy grill? The answer is you would not, or at least you, you would wouldn't not. tell people about it. Um, so here are your color choices. I have this for you in the gray. I have the red. Here's the black, and finally this blue is available as well. Don't forget these go in the dishwasher. To uh, Rick's earlier point, well, actually I just made dents in the side yeah, of the, you're gonna uh, break the, the wood right there. I'm <laughs> gonna break the tile. These are super, super strong and durable, and they're nice, uh, nice and hefty. Look at this. Yeah, so beautifully clean. Look at this. Look at how it polishes. My apologies, now, to set some props. I just want you, if you can come in here, look, and just show you, okay? Because that's 18-8 stainless. Take a look at these grates here. These are now polished back to clean as a whistle. These right here all have that gook on them. Now watch this. Just simply use a scraper. Get in there and just do a little scraping. And then can I tell you now, Rick? Over 500 of these are oh, gone. Can we come back here? Let's do that. Yeah. And so, let me also tell you, today's Mother's Day, but on June the fourth, is it 14th? What, when's Father's Day this year? I know it varies. Um, Father's Day is coming up. Who's this, the king of the grill in your house? I'm Probably you. Dad. Yeah, I think it's be great. I, I, you know, I talk to most people. Most people say two times a season they're buying a new uh, scrubber because mm -hmm. it gets rusty, gets corroded. This is the one you're going to keep season in and season out. I just bought one recently, like the one you showed, because I didn't know we had these. Yeah, now look at this, David. Let me get I, out of the way. This, this grill, I mean, literally, it's got, I don't know if they can catch us. This. this grill has so much on it, and all I have to do is turn the angle of the brush here. We're coming in behind you here, Rick. Look at this. All right, okay, I'm going to wait here. Come and check this out. Look at how I can get into each grate. You see all this in here? Watch this. The stainless steel literally polishes it down and you just simply angle it. And when you get the top here, look at how it just breaks it right off. And once I'm done with this, David, what I love about it, these grates are clean. This goes right into your dishwasher. And when you're done in the dishwasher, that is what it's going to look like. Now, I have one other thing I want to show you, David, Please, over here. Of course. Okay. What we did is when we first designed this, I took one of the prototypes out, okay? This has been outside for 14 months in the rain, in the snow. At your house. At my house. Has gone through the dishwasher more than a dozen times. Not a single ounce of rust. These two are only a month old. These are the traditional. These are And they're rusty. already rusted. They're already rusted. So that's, you wind up throwing these away. You spend $15 every month or two or every season. Why not buy a grill cleaner that you can keep year after year, season after season, put it into the dishwasher. And again, the durability, 
This thing is made, I mean, this is a big solid handle. I absolutely love this. And you know what thing. I love? I love that it's called Grillville. Grillville. And in case you're wondering, yeah. it says it right here on the top. It says Grillville right here on the top of the, of the, of the brush. So you're going, here it is. Grillville up in here. Bang, there it is. So don't miss out on these. How many are gone now, Dan? 2,100 of these are now gone. Let's show you what your colors are. We have this for you in black, in gray, in red, and in blue. Black is now half gone. Red is going quickly. Listen to this. This is super, super strong and durable. Those other ones, I could bend those handles and break them, the ones you bought at the supermarket. Yeah, and David, This I is something you're not going to be able to bend and break. This is a strong, durable tool that goes in your dishwasher. There are no bristles that can break off of this, and when you're on yeah. the grill cleaning with this, let me get in here and give it yeah, a try. Yeah, and I love the handle. See, it's a nice big handle. It, and this stays nice and cool. That stays nice and cool. And this is the last thing you want, David. You don't want this in your food. This Those works rusty, beautifully. rusty bristles. I mean, I can't believe this is less than a month old. It's already useless. So you wind up throwing it out. I hope some of these are left by the end of the show because I want to awesome. order one. I want to order one. This is fantastic because I grill, and you guys see, I put my pictures on Instagram all the time. I grill a lot in the summertime. And if you give it like this, you see how I'm going back and forth? Look at how it's putting a polish back on this oh great. Oh my gosh, it sure it is. Puts it's not a, just cleaning, it's polish. It's a polish. Look at how that looks like brand new again, a black, shiny polish. That's and what your grades look like. And if it's and yucky, don't worry, because you're, when you're done with this, you're going to take it and put it in the dishwasher. Dishwasher. That's crazy. This is really, really strong, and you're not buying any more of these things. You're getting one and it's last. Oh, time. it's the only order of the season. You're correct about that. Yeah. So let me grab this black one. Yeah. There you go. Just trying to do colors again. Yeah. We're now last call in the black. Ooh. If you want this black, we're now last call. Only order of the season. We're not going to bring this back in this year. We can't bring it in this year. Yeah. In the gray, 1,500 left. The red, fewer than 800, and the blue, fewer than 900. 4,000 are now gone in the show. Phone lines are super busy. QVC.com and mobile app, best way for you to go. Stay on the line here. We've got a lot more coming your way in this last hour of In the Kitchen with David, the last 45 minutes, I should say. So stay on the line for these. Is black gone, guys? Black just sold out. Black's gone. All right, put black it over just here. sold out. Uh, red will be next, then the gray, then the blue, I think. So here's what I have left. It's not kind of like red, white, and blue, isn't it? It is a little bit. I like See that. See there? I mean, you know, it's a light gray. Yeah. So there you go. I think we can get away with that. Yeah. Red, white, and blue. So don't miss out on these. These are going quickly. It's the only order of the season. When they're gone, we won't see them again until, I guess, next year, right? That's right. Next season. Can I say happy Mother's Day? I hope Mom. you will. Happy Mother's Day, Mom. All the moms out there, my sister, my wife, of course, and everybody out there. I hope it's sunnier where you are. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, <laughs> when we come back from this short break, that special phone call I told you about we're going to make, and a whole lot more in the last 45 minutes. But right now, once you've cleaned the grill, we're going to show you in this little video clip how to make the perfect summer burger. Ooh. Check it out. We're back in moments. Happy Mother's Day, everybody.